Hi, this is Carol Parisi reporting from the Illinois State Fair for Champion News, and with me right now is Christine Redonio. Hello, Senator Redonio. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Senator, we have some issues in Illinois. What do you think the biggest issue is for our Illinois constituency? Well, I think in general terms, it's the fiscal condition of the state, but probably the most important underlying factor there is the pension problem. Now, the pensions, we hear a lot about it. What type of actionable solutions is this the Republicans, the super minority Republicans, planning to do to turn this around and get their more fiscally conservative ideas out? Well, we've been working um, with everyone because obviously whatever solution we get has got to pass the legislature. And unfortunately, right now, that will include Democrats, who traditionally have not been that interested in solving the pension problem. Now, in an ideal world, I think that we'd like to see the state go towards uh, the way the private industry has gone. Um, I don't know that we have the votes to pass that because we are in the minority. Having said that, though, we are working hard now on uh, a solution that will at least stabilize the finances of the system. So, Part A, now, do you have... Uh, bipartisan support for a stability process for pensions? Well, I think there will be bipartisan support. I, right now, the conference committee is working to try to put something together. I can't comment as to whether or not I support it until I actually see the final language. But I'm encouraged that there's some work being done in that direction. What can um, constituents and folks do to help move this in a more positive way? Well, I think one of the things they can do is, particularly if they live in a Democratic area, is call the Democrats and say, you can't, you've got to enact pension reform. You can't just listen to union bosses, public sector union bosses, who want to perpetuate the system. I think most rank and file um, union members realize if we don't solve this thing, they may not get their pension check. Is that a real possibility? It's absolutely a real possibility, and that's why we need to solve this thing. Is anybody discussing that publicly with them? Well, we, we are discussing with them publicly, and again, I think that's why some of the rank and file union members understand that, and they're willing to participate in a solution. But it's the union bosses sometimes that haven't been truthful with their members. Well, we're going to have an election cycle coming up here 2014. The Republicans are clearly in the super minority. How, what is the Senate, from the Senate side, what is the plan to get them out of it? Well, you know, one of the problems in the legislature is the Democrats drew the map, and so they certainly drew themselves a huge advantage. In the Senate in particular, not all of our seats are up. We just have a handful that are up. The entire Senate doesn't run every year. We're recruiting some really great candidates, um, some that are kind of out-of-the-box thinkers, um, so we'll need to get our message out. But also critically important is the gubernatorial election. And getting a Republican governor breaks up that one-party system and I think will help our down-ballot races and will help us going into the future as well. Any other thoughts you'd like to share with our viewers? No, I think that's covered the waterfront. Well, thank you so Thanks. much. Enjoy the fair. Okay.